Equilibrium Moisture Content, abbreviated as EMC, is a building technology term. It refers to relative humidity and building materials. Whenever water is present, either liquid or more often in the air, suspended in the air, not necessarily condensating like this one is, but that could be the case, there's always, always some amount of water vapor present in the air. The building materials are porous. Even if they are painted, they are not hermetically sealed. They, because this water vapor is at a pressure, vapor pressure, the pressure forces the water into the building materials, whether it's stud walls or drywall, wood, particle board, everything absorbs water. Even the ceramic tiles absorb water. Even if it says uh, it's, for, it's for a bathroom and it doesn't absorb water, it does absorb half a percent or some, some minutia amount it does. So the equilibrium moisture content is the amount of water vapor going into the building materials that's at, <clears throat> that's at equilibrium at any given temperature. This is all temperature related. If the temperature is cold, you know that like in the morning, dew is formed. There, dew spelled that way. If the temperature rises, the dew disappears right away. Not because the well, the sun dries it up, but uh, it has to do with the temperature of the air and the pressure of the water vapor. So, if the temperature drops, water tends to condensate easier. If the temperature goes up, water will condensate a little harder. If you are building along a seashore or large bodies of water, the equilibrium level of the moisture content in the wood or building materials will be higher. Ideally, and this is a building code issue, it's, it's around, just in general, it's around the 11% relative humidity. And that's not the air's relative humidity, that's the building materials relative humidity, but it's gonna be at equilibrium with the air. Okay, so it does matter when measurements are taken. If you take measurements in, the, in a downpour, even if it's not raining inside a house, it's going to be different. If you go to the shower and bathroom, the equilibrium level of the moisture content of building materials will be higher than in the living room next to a fireplace, because next to the fireplace the temperature is higher and the relative humidity percentage, the equilibrium level, will be higher. So what's important about uh, building materials before they get closed in and, and uh, sealed in and taped over and whatever you don't want to be growing mold, mildew and, uh, and all kinds of critters on it. You have to make sure that they are at a moisture content level that doesn't support bacterial growth and all kinds of pests. That, that, that 11% would be nice. That would be ideal. It might be different if you are, again, uh, along a coastline or in uh, tropical areas or something like that. So that's the idea with equilibrium moisture content. It's important for, for occupant health and it's important for the uh, durability or longevity of the building materials.